Welcome back everybody. We're in the shop today. I'm going to be showing you how I make my little shad spoon from my last video. And it's kind of cool how I made it. So earlier this uh, last spring, I was striper fishing and I pulled one up and he spit up a shad. And so I took that shad and I froze it and uh, I made a little bed of Bondo and pressed him halfway in there. I think I pulled his tail off. Um, once that's set up, I sprayed some mold release on there and poured the other half right over top of him. And when it was all set up, I pulled it open and I made my pour spout here and a couple of vents for air to escape. Um, and then I just take a section of stainless wire and make an eye on each end and make it the right length clamp this together and then I pour it full of lead. You can see I have my lead pot heating up over here and so let's get into it and pour a couple up and then maybe put some cool paint jobs on them so stay tuned. So we have our little section of stainless wire here and I cut it so there's enough slack on both ends for me to double it back over make the eye and twist it so this is gonna be super strong when it's done. The other thing that this wire allows is when I make this spoon, it's it's straight. And that's good for some applications, but other applications, you want it to kind of swim. So you can actually take that lead spoon and put a bend in it. And this wire allows you to bend it all which way and it won't break. So this is a through wire spoon and it is extremely strong. All right, there was some stuff going on in the background in the shop this day. The, the fan was going and my dad was working on some cabinets. So I just decided to do a voiceover for the remainder of this video. So you see here I'm bending the eye in the stainless wire and then getting ready to twist it in the vise. Putting it in the vise here. and then sticking a little tool in there just to twist it. And when it's done, it'll just pop out of the vise. There it is. Now I'm placing the wire in the mold to see where I need to put the other one. Now I'm bending the other eye and clipping off some excess here. Back in the vise and I'm gonna twist it again. I'm using a different little tool because the other one got stuck in there last time. And it pops out of there when it's done. You can see the fit in the mold. And with those twisted ends, that's going to be really strong. You can see I've put little placement holes and little placement bumps to orient the mold. Putting some clamps on either side. You can see my lead is hot and ready and we're pouring. I'm shaking it a little bit just to make sure the lead gets back into those ends. Sometimes the wire and the twist can kind of block it. And we're already demolding. Lead cools down really fast. Well, it's, it's solid really fast. You can see it's still hot, but you can demold it pretty, pretty soon. Cool little spoon we just poured out of lead. <laughs> you can see I'm trying to pick it up and it's still pretty hot. And I'm not learning my lesson. I, <laughs> I have to keep dropping it. Ooh. 
there we go now I'm trimming all those little tabs off from the vents in the pore hole with some side cutters and you could put those trimmings right back into your lead pot and remelt them and it's still hot surprisingly Now I'm cleaning out the eyes. There was a little bit of lead that poured into the eyes there. And finally learning my lesson and putting some water on it to cool it down. Now I'm just taking a razor blade knife and cleaning up some of the edges. Taking some of that excess off. And then some sandpaper to finish it off. It's getting there. There you see I've added some super glue in some of the little cavities there just to round it out. And Once the paint goes over top you won't even be able to tell. So now I'm spraying some color shift on there as a base coat to kind of give that lead a nice shiny color shift uh, base on it. It's going to look really fishy when it's done. That looks cool. Now I'm cleaning out my airbrush and dropping some chartreuse paint in there and just spraying it along the back to kind of give this lure a little pop in the water. When you're making a lure that represents a bait fish that swims around in a school, you want it to stand out from all those other bait fish. Now I'm getting some Wicked Pearl Black and I'm going to spray a scale pattern over this chartreuse. I have some cloth mesh here. Putting a little on the eye there and then spraying through that mesh onto the back to make that scale pattern. And the other side. And look at that popped off the mesh and we have a cool scale pattern. Now I lost the footage to the rest of this video so here's some fish catches on the lure but how I finished out the lure was I glued some 3D eyes on it and then I spray a clear coat on the rest of the spoon. So thanks for watching this is how I make my cool little spoon guys and uh, it's been fun to make lures and catch fish on them. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know, and I can definitely arrange that. I enjoy doing these types of things, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.